So I got, I got hungry and I wanted food. So I go downstairs and I'm like, what do I want to eat? Right, like, what will fill this hunger void that I have? It's like, I can make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I'm like, mm, peanut butter's kind of old as fuck and doesn't spread very easily. So we're gonna pass on the peanut butter and jelly sandwich for today. I was like, you know what? I want some tuna fish, some mayonnaise and some salt. Served it on Ritz crackers. That's, that was a tasty, tasty spread is, is what I, I wanted. That's what I hungered for. That's what I hunger for. So I went about my merry day, way, merry way, and I acquired the tuna fish, I acquired the bowl, I acquired the fork, I acquired the salt, and I acquired the Ritz crackers. The last piece to this puzzle is the mayonnaise. I opened the fridge, let the light of the fridge shine upon me as the cold air gently brushed against me. It was welcoming because there was food, there is sustenance in that fridge as far as the eye can see. I look back upon the ingredients that I have gathered and I am like, soon, friends, I will consume you. I contemplated, do I add sriracha to this mix? You know, spice it up a little bit. I was like, mm, I don't know. It's kind of spicy. And what if I don't like it? What if I don't like it and I ruin this feast. And I start to go like, what, what other things could I add to this? Could I add yum yum sauce? Like it's good on fish, cooked fish and shrimp and, and lobster and, and steak. Is it, is it good on tuna? I don't know. Again, circling back to like with the sriracha, I don't want to ruin an entire meal just in case this turns out not to be as good as my mind thinks it is. I'm scanning, like, oh, lemon and lime juice? You know, you can probably toss a little drop. I'm trying to fancy f as fuck my meal up right now. I'm like, I, I could toss some lime juice in there. That's fancy, right? Just sprinkle it on. Get up to the top shelf where the butter is, where the half and half is, where the sour cream sits, and where, in a normal setting, on a typical day where I don't need it and it's not a part of the food chain that I want to eat sits the mayonnaise. But the mayonnaise is not there today. It is gone. And I check the shelves again. I'm doing a double check. I'm like, maybe it moved over here. Maybe it's on this thing, like Lazy Susan in the back. Maybe, maybe I'm not seeing it because I'm looking for a certain mayonnaise. Maybe I just need to look and the mayonnaise will reach out like 3D and be like, ah, surprise motherfucker, here I am behind the lamb for your gyros that you had the other day. So then I was like, well, if I was some mayonnaise and I wasn't open and in the fridge, I would be in the cupboard. Open the cupboard, much like I opened the fridge, gaze upon food that needs to be cooked that is tasty, but I don't got fucking time for that because my salt, my tuna fish, my bowl, my fork, and my Ritz crackers are all waiting on the countertop, waiting for Mr. Mayonnaise or Miss Mayonnaise or Mrs. Mayonnaise. It's waiting for the fucking mayonnaise. I did not locate any. So I said to self, I was like, okay, self, we are looking at the top shelf. This is primarily pastas and, and rice and beans and things of the canned foods and things of that nature with breads up there. I'm like, maybe because mayonnaise is a condiment, it is in the lower, under the shelf, the bottom level. Let us take a gander, shall we? We shall, because I need this fucking mayonnaise. Open the bottom shelf like I opened the top shelf and I opened the fridge and I look. The bottom shelf is full of nuts that I can't eat because they will kill me. It is filled with condiments and extra things that don't need to be in the fridge and snacks and chips and such. So I'm looking across the land of the less used, looking for mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. I need it to shine upon my sight. This jar filled with this whiteness that is not semen. 
because I know a friend of mine is going to take it there. So I'm just putting it out there right now. The jar full of whiteness that is not semen. My eyes do not see, said jar full of whiteness that is not semen. I close and then I open again as if to think it will all of a sudden say, surprise, motherfucker, you got me. It did not. So I close downstairs and I open the doors to our pantry-ish version 2.0 which is primarily overstock of stuff with canned goods and sauces and pastas and, and such and I look I gaze upon thine cupboard that is full but it has zero fucks to give me for mayonnaise so I go back upstairs to check the lower cupboard one last time open it up this time I go slower because when you're hungry and you want a simple meal, sometimes you skip over things because you're focused on the end result. So you take your time to scan. And I'm, I'm crouched down, I'm bent down. Plenty of room for my wiggly bits with my Duluth Trading Company fire hose cargo pants. And I'm leaning forward a little bit and I'm looking. Then what happens? Uh, I put my arm on the door that is on my left side. Uh, then I shift and my right leg says, you know what, <laughs> you, you, you know what, dude, <laughs> you, you, you want, you want, you want to know, would you like to know something? My right leg said, fuck you, and slipped. And I was like, hmm, this is, this is odd now as this is happening. I'm like, this is, in my mind, this is happening in slow motion, but this is odd. Here I am holding on to the door uh, with my left hand and my right leg has somehow stroked out and given given away. Like it's like, fuck, fuck you, I'm out. But it's still attached, of course, but it is no more supporting my plus-sized voluptuousness. So, uh, what do you suppose happens when one of the pillars of strength that is holding you up is no longer a pillar of strength that is holding you up. If you said my fat ass was to tilt forward, smack my fucking head on the handles that stick out from the cabinetry in our kitchen and then slide down and then rest on the wood that is of the cabinetry in our kitchen and ponder life and what the fuck just happened and why my right leg gave out and did I rip the door handle off as I fell and is my wife gonna hear that and come up and wonder what the fuck just happened and how do I tell this to people and I'm still fucking hungry and there's no fucking mayonnaise. Now, come up here, drink water, because I am defeated. 